This is the J12 wireless microphone from Ulanzi and you may already be familiar with these people. I checked a lot of content creators and so many people said that this was the absolute best budget wireless microphone you can get at this price point. Now it's promising decent audio with really good noise reduction. Granted, the noise reduction aspect is not really that important to me. What I just wanted was good sounding audio that would allow me to be mobile in my shots in such a way that I'm going to consistently get good audio with like 2 million five star reviews on amazon obviously it's not that much but there were a lot of five star reviews saying that this is absolutely the best it's changed my life got me into a new home fixed my marriage i felt that this would be an easy decision for me to make in my mind i'm thinking slam dunk right right I know you thought this was going to be yet another video echoing what everybody else has said, making you feel confident about buying this mic. You are mistaken. This is not another video endorsing this microphone. This is a video of despair and failure. Existential crisis aside, there's actually a silver lining to this story. Now, while the mic didn't perform anywhere close to how I hoped it would perform, I did find an alternative to this mic. And it's almost half the price of the Yonanzi. And it actually works. Now, I will say this quickly. This is no heat piece on the Lancy. I think they're a great company. They have good lenses for mobile devices and I think that mic might actually be good. What I'm going to say is maybe I got a defective unit. Let me be fair. I give them benefit of the doubt. So I'm going to send this away and when I get a new one, I'll do the update, link it up with this video and we shall see. That being said, let's have a look at the alternative, shall we? <laughs> Okay, let's go over how both mics are similar but different at the same time and how those differences may sway one direction or the other. By the way, if you wanted to quickly skip to where you can hear both audio samples for both mics, I'd leave timestamps for those. But better come back and watch the video. Now, they both come in the box. You don't say. And they both come with two microphones and a transmitter, which means you can record a conversation with another person at the same time. Now, granted, it will not separate them to separate audio channels. It'll just be on one channel. This is what to expect when you're dabbling in this price point. So real quick, future me watch the video and figure out that there are a lot of critical now, one thing I wanted to mention is the fact that this thing is actually about half the price of the Ulanzi. Half the price. If you're just looking at the feature sets, it has everything the Ulanzi has. Another thing I just also want to go over is the fact that the build quality of this is very good. It's quite light. There's no compromise there. Obviously, it's plastic, so that can be light, but the build quality is actually really good. Plus, it actually comes with this windshield thing. It comes with two of them. So, you're getting something that is giving you really premium quality as far as I'm concerned. Just wanted to quickly put that in for more context for the rest of the video. Enjoy. Now they both can work for Android and Apple devices. However, with the Ulanzi, you have to be specific to order the one that would work on the type of phone you have, whether it's an Android or an Apple device. Now this brings us to the first major difference, which is the fact that the Ulanzi comes with a charging case. I really like this because it keeps the overall design smooth and slick. Also the fact that anytime you pick the microphone out of the case, you know it's fully charged. That's a better design in my opinion. On the other hand, which is the Alavon, this doesn't come with a charging in case. I'd have gladly paid a bit more if it did come with one, but I can't complain too much. It does come with charging cables anyways. It's not the biggest deal for me personally, but I know that there's some people that that might be a deal breaker. So that's your first cue. Another thing that's similar to both of them is that they work pretty much the same way. You just need to plug it to your phone and the indicator light on the transmitter starts flashing. Then you just need to turn on the microphone. And as long as the light is solid, it means it's connected. And this is the exact same thing with the other phone. Now, one thing that is different on the Ulanzi side of things is that the transmitter also has a lightning port pass through. This means if the phone's battery is low, you can plug your lightning cable to charge it while it's still transmitting. So you can still have more or less like almost infinite audio at that point. This is not a feature on the Avalon wireless transmitter. So that's one thing there. Both of them have similar range for views. So about like 20 feet thereabout. But I, I didn't do that kind of test because at least for my use case scenario, I'm only going to be exclusively using it within the room. So I don't think I'm ever going to be more than 10 feet away from it. If this thing could just do 15 feet that's perfectly fine for me and it can do almost twice that but now at least the main reason you came here was really to know what this mics sound like in action but before that let's set the scene so this is level one noise cancellation let's hear what it sounds like the grid a digital frontier 
I try to picture classes of information, how they would look like and travel through computers, ships and motorcycles, circuits like freeways. I try to imagine a world I thought I'd never see. One day, I got in. So that's the first level. Let's go to the second level. Now, generally, most people say when you're using this microphone, you want to keep it at level two. So we are at level two. Let's enter scene again. The grid, a digital frontier. I try to picture clusters of information, how they would look like through computers, ships and motorcycles, circuits like freeways. I try to imagine a world I thought I'd never see. And one day I got in. Okay, so that's level two. So this is at level three. And let's hear how my voice sounds like through this. The grid, a digital frontier. I try to picture clusters of information, how they would look like through computers, chips and motorcycles, circuits like freeways. I try to imagine a world I thought I'd never see. And one day I got in. So that should give an idea of what it would generally sound like. But this is the audio coming out of the Yelanzi. Is it good? Is it great? I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. Now, out the gate with this one, one of the reasons why I prefer this is that you can see a green light. That already tells me that noise cancellation is not active. If I want to activate it, I would press it this way and it should be orange. So that way you know that noise cancellation is on. Now, granted, this one only has one level, so it's either on or off. On the Yulanzi, you have three levels. I really don't care too much for the three levels because this one just seems to work. Once it's on, it's on, and once it's off, it's off. Some people may prefer graduated levels. In my use case, the noise cancellation on this one seems to work a bit better than the Yulanzi in terms of like really rejecting noise. It doesn't really do too much in way of making your voice sound a bit weird. So this is off baseline, how it would sound raw the grid a digital frontier i try to picture clusters of information how they would travel through computers circuits like freeways i try to imagine a world i thought i'd never see and one day i got in okay so that's basically how it sounds so what are my final thoughts on both mics? So first thing is, I don't think I'm going to go too hard on the J12s just because the audio quality and what I'm experiencing with it just seems so bad that I have to assume that it's a defective unit. All of the features like the noise cancellation, all of that, they seem to work fine. So operationally, is that even a word? Everything seems fine. It's not buggy or anything like that. So the reason why I'm just saying that this is a defective unit is because most of the people who reviewed it on YouTube, they didn't have any of the issues that I was having. The audio sounded clear, the volume pickup was perfectly fine so i'm just like maybe i was just unlucky but again the other wireless microphone which is the allophone i didn't have any of those problems straight out the gate in terms of my feedback there are two things i don't like about it first thing being the fact that it doesn't come with a charging case it just would have been more compact and convenient to carry around and manage that way i know that each time i'm taking the mic i know it's ready to go the second thing is the fact that it's a little bit bulky in terms of the connection this requires a cable a small usb c to lightning cable to plug to your phone so it's kind of dangling around and if you wanted something a bit more neat that might not be ideal. With the J12, it just fits snug underneath the phone and that's what I generally prefer. In this final section, I'm going to be using this mic just so that you have an idea what it will be like if you're actually using it for like a production or whatever project that you're working on. Actually, now that I'm reviewing the audio segments that I'm recording with both mics, I noticed that on the Yulanzi, it really didn't matter what level of noise reduction I was selecting. It sounded pretty much the same. The grid, a digital frontier. I try to picture clusters of information. The grid, a digital frontier. I try to picture clusters of information. On the contrary, it was introducing one type of digital noise that I wasn't really sure. If you're just playing it out of your phone, you might not notice it, but if you're using headphones, you definitely notice that weird digital noise it's introducing. On the Alavon, the sound coming out of the mic, I almost felt like I could use it directly without even putting any templates on it. So this is off baseline, how it would sound raw the grid a digital frontier i try to picture classes of information now granted with this one you only have one level of noise reduction i actually kind of prefer it i want to know whether it's on or off and i notice that once it's on it doesn't really do too much to your voice in way of taking away from how natural it sounded so yeah let me know in the comments which one of these mics sound better hopefully this video was helpful if you did like it do consider leaving a like and a subscribe to the channel i'm extremely grateful for everyone who has subscribed so far hope you guys had a good time watching this video and until the next one have a great time.